Hello. What's up, y'all? I just wanted Hello. to make a quick video regarding my Moorish American nationality and explaining everything, what it is, what it do, how to do it. Um, but before I get into that, I just want to start off with a brief history of who the Moors are. The Moors are basically oh, okay. the high priest that went into Europe around uh, 700 AD and uh, when I say the word civilized, uh, what I mean by mama. that is we get it from they brought mama. order we get it to the caucus mama. beings, the caucus Neanderthals that were living in, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. what is it called, I the Black Pet melanin. Plague, oh, yeah. those motherfuckers. Basically, these ancient African we men went into, the, went into the mountains of Europe and civilized all of the Neanderthals that lived melanin. there because they were just... Just doing, just doing bad, you know? They were terrible, and they needed that order and guidance that the Moors brought to them. And, you know, us being melanin beings, we, we carry some type of common sense serum within our blood. We all have common sense. Most of us use it, some of us don't, but we have it. And with that being said... Um, a lot of the stuff that went down yeah. over the past, Hell nah, we ain't easy. I want to say 700, we 800 years, because where we're at right now, yeah. 2000, yeah, right. what, we'll going on 2020, yeah. and I mean, it's been a good 700 years since this stuff has happened. They brainwashed us by generation by generation. Uh, our forefathers came back in tried to guide these Neanderthals back to the right motherfucking way and they still ended up tricking us they still ended up backstabbing us they still ended up dishonoring their treaty but we as Moorish Americans we as indigenous people of the motherfucking land we have to be the bigger people cause if not then nobody's going to be we have to be the bigger people we cannot let hate win because hate has proven to get us nowhere hate is what had Michael Martin Luther King Jr. killed Hate is what had Malcolm X, Malcolm El Shabazz Bay killed. Um, hate is what had Bob Marley killed. Hate is what had Fanny, um, you know, a lot of different people killed. We, I don't even want to go down the list. I really don't because it's going to piss me off and I'm not going to get this off. I'm just off every other day. And that's not the move. But with all of that to be said, I just need to spread light on that because a lot of people don't know that the white, who we call white people today, what we call white or, or Caucasian is really Neanderthal Europeans. Neanderthal Europeans is what they are. And yes, I'll be one of the motherfucking crazies. Y'all who created y'all hoes. It is what it is. I know the truth. I'm sticking to what my truth is. And I'm moving forward into the age of enlightenment and the new world order. So, you know, enough said. Da 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 da. But, um, back to the Moorish part of everything. Um, I recently I discovered who I truly was. I, I at, for the melanin. past since 2016, um, right, I started we'll signing that. all of my paperwork Damn as right, American we'll Indian, and we'll I thought I was you know doing something until I got the redemption manual from an older woman who was a Facebook friend of mine, and she really helped bring me into the light. And it's called the Redemption Manual, and I started to study the Redemption Manual in August of 2017, and it's got me here. Um, I've tested these techniques, I've, I've done stuff. Um, like they say, you are who you say you are. Can't nobody tell you who the fuck you are. But at the same time, there are we are governed by a set of principles, not rules, regulations. We are governed by a set of principles, universal law. And again, those of us with common sense use it. Those with us who don't have common sense don't use it. And therefore, they abide by slave rules and regulations. So, it's all about you. Like Kanye said, how we still slaves in 2016. We still slaves because we're not fucking opening up our minds, expanding our minds past the bullshit of religion and, you know, the, the battle of the sexist male versus female, all that bullshit. Get the fuck over it. We are Moorish Americans and it's time for us to take our rightful place back in our kingdom, America. Let me say that again, America. Fuck all that bullshit you talking. So, yeah, with that being stated, I'm just trying to just sit here and give a little knowledge that, you know, some people choose to remain slaves. 
and you are who you say that you are, but you also have to, you know, we're governed by a set of principles. So you can't just say I'm this without backing it up politically. Because this, the system of life that we know, our ancient forefathers and foremothers created it. Yeah, we were miseducated in Eurocentric dominated schools that didn't want us to know who we truly are. But that didn't work, as you can see. We, are, we all know that we're not, the, the, we're, we're not who they say we are. We know that. They know that. But now it's time that you know it with a surety. So, yeah, let me get back to this. But um, anyways, I was listening to a video that that Taj uh, Tariq Bey um, did. And it was said that it was published in February of 2013. And it was regarding the name change correction. You know, we are we all have a right to a free national name. And we're all we all have the right to a free national identity. So with that being stated. Um, a lot of us who are you who were or are still currently U.S. citizens and are holding corporate um, account numbers. There's a treaty in place. You know that, right? There's a whole fucking treaty out here. So I love you, Taj Tariq Bey. I love everything that you stand for. But first and foremost, I have to tell you that I truly disagree with your statement as to saying that you give them jurisdiction by giving them paperwork on you correcting your, your, your status in life. That is absolutely terrible advice to give, being that everything is ran in this world. Everything is ran by paper. Everything. So what I did to go hold, to trump that is I just I just did a video proclaiming and publishing my national for name on YouTube. And I'm doing that in conjunction with the paperwork that you see right here beside me. Giving them legal notice that I know who I am and that they are going to honor who it is that I say I am by birthright and primogenitor status. They cannot do anything to you for knowing who you are and for submitting into their false fraudulent courts real, accurate, true paperwork. Your paperwork is the only true paperwork in that bitch. Okay? Understand that. Overstand it. Once you submit your, your notice, of your, your legal notice, however you submit it, you've done your job. And you can bring and you can bring this piece of paper up, make a copy of make as many carbon copies of this paper as you need to to give to whoever you need to give it to to show them that you know who the fuck you are. A um, little bit of personal information about me. I'm 23. I have no established credit yet. And I'm thankful for that because I got to I found this knowledge and was able to. I'm utilizing it. I'm able to utilize this knowledge because I haven't fucked myself already fraudulently. If you understand that. So basically my position in life right now is. It's 2018 right. So. This is the enlightenment age. The age of information. They have women who are having children. And they are not having children in state sponsored hospitals. They are having children in their own homes. They're not getting birth certificates. They're not getting. Um, account numbers. These are free indigenous aboriginal American nationals. And this is they're the generation that's coming up to do what I'm trying to do now, what I'm doing right now. So we're basically these children that are coming up and 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 myself, we're basically in alignment with each other because I I'm returning everything that the state gave to me. If you understand that, I don't have a driver's license. For one, I gave up my driver's license when I found out that I was visually impaired and that the. Look, I'm not even about to release that because it's not my business. Get it how you get it. But anyways, I'm visually impaired. I was born this way. I'm going to leave Earth this way. And with that being stated, there were some things that I had to do cor to correct my status as well. Let's give you a pause, brief pause, bring it in. All right, y'all ready again? I'm visually impaired. 
Aboriginal Indigenous Disabled American is what I call myself. An Aboriginal Indigenous Disabled American. I don't have a driver's license because I'm visually impaired. I gave them back their driver's license in February of 2018. I do still currently hold a state-issued identification card, but whenever I present it, I present it to them, and I make sure that I say that I am presenting this ID to you in lieu of not having a national identity card. Or because of the fact that I'm not going to have the name on the birth certificate. Let's, what's the word? Corrected. I'm not going to get a birth certificate with my free national name on it. No, that's not how this works. That's not how you end a fraudulent false system, a system that has enslaved your people, a system that has taken advantage of your people, a system that has fucking ripped your entire nation, and when I say nation, I mean your land, a system that has systematically ripped your land apart and then abandoned you. That's what I'm speaking on today. That's what this entire video is based upon. It's based upon correcting your status so that way we as a people can come back together and form the nation that we were always supposed to have because like they say the rest of the world is waiting on us to wake up we are Moorish American nationals by way of the Maghrib Empire know thyself so like I said again um, when it comes to the name change correction you wanting to present it to the courts. Um, you, you can present your, your, your paperwork to the superior courts. That is the, the, the Supreme Court of the lands. Any other court is basically incompetent of serving you. You don't even have to step into their courts. Magistrate court, fucking traffic violation court. You don't have to step into any of those courts. The only fucking court, the only court that has true fucking power is the Supreme Court. And even the Supreme Court got pimped out and turned into a motherfucking de facto, right? So again, like like Taj Tariq is telling y'all, once you go ahead and you, you, you know who you are and you've proclaimed to the world who you are, you've proclaimed to other people who you are, just start doing business in your name. I'm x rolling the name that was given to me because I know that that isn't me. I've never felt like that name was me. I was given my father's name, so I, I'm a, I was a junior. And I never felt like I was that person. My entire life, I didn't like the name because the name that I had was a really common ass name so I was always getting confused with other people where people were like let me look you up by your account number because I can't find you by this and that those are excuses to me so now that I'm hip to everything I no longer present those things you have to take off face value but yeah peace light and love Morris I'm done with my rant for the day um I'm going to meet with my financial advisor at one of these inter, inter, you know, monetary financial banks, one of these IMF banks. I'm going to meet with my financial um, advisor and um, getting my name change stuff started. And I have all the correct materials. And so, if you really, if you take a look at the name at the name change forms that that are provided to you. The website that I went with was called totallegal.com and what they did was they created my entire documents just based out of giving them my place of birth, my the year of my birth, my slave name, my national name, and where I and where I currently am a transient, not a resident, but a transient sojourner of what city what city I was transienting in. And um, I gave that little bit of information and they hooked my ass up with some cool ass documents. And they, there is something called general civil case filing. So there's two ways that they do this. And the first piece of papers that I have say non-domestic. And this is why I, I will wholeheartedly sit up here and, you know, I humbly come at you and I humbly challenge you on this Taj Tariq Bay that 
you're not giving them jurisdiction over your free national being. You have a treaty. Your forefathers have a treaty with these people that are sitting in these court-appointed offices. They have a treaty to uphold with the Moorish Moroccan fucking empire. Do you guys not understand that? So you are in no wrong, you are in no error by bringing in your publication and notice of publication to the Supreme Court. You're in no wrong for doing that. That is not an error. But you will be an error if you let them file you down as a domestic resident of whatever county or parish that you reside in. You feel me? So like I said, the paperwork that I have, I have two different forms. I have a non-domestic general civil case filing form, and then I have a domestic relations case filing form. I'm only going to give them the, the, the non-domestic because I am not a domestic U.S. citizen. I repeat, I am not a domestic U.S. citizen. One love, y'all. Wake up.